Hello. Hello. I would like to interview a little bit. Uh, we have met long time before at Kimara. And yes. Many things has happened after that. <laughs> Can you shortly tell me some, something about your background? Yes, sure. Thank you uh, for inviting me to this interview and a little bit about my background. So I'm Saad Jamil and currently I'm working in ELISA. Videra as a head of project management and deployment and I've been working there for the last six years now but before that my background has been I came to Finland in 2011 to okay. study my master's degree from Tampere University of Technology and mm-hmm. I completed my degree in industrial management in 2014 mm-hmm. and after that I moved to Helsinki when I got the job in Elisa and ever since I've been like working there and have been living here as well. Yeah and yeah. Yeah, so that's sort of a short background. About. Yeah, okay, okay. Then I don't need to ask you what work are you doing right now. Now we know it already. Yes. Yes, but uh, what kind of job is best for you? Yeah, so mostly I enjoy jobs which involves customer facing roles where I can meet new people and different clients. So because it provides quite a lot of new learning, different mm-hmm. clients work differently and be different people. They have different ways of working. So you, once you meet them, so it's, you learn quite a lot how they work and what are the differences and, you know, you can improve mm-hmm. as well quite a lot. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And I, I think you already said something about this, but uh, I would like to know when you are at your best in at work. <laughs> Is this yes. sa- same you said already? Yeah, it's sort of similar. So I'm at my best yeah. when I'm working with sort of, uh, I like to take on new challenges. So I, I'm at my best when I have some challenges in front of me, like something new, which I haven't done before. So then I try like to try it. And if there is some sort of a little bit of a pressure or stress, so I like to work in that because then I think I can learn more and I can try to get a little bit out of my comfort zone and try to do something. Yeah, more. yeah, yeah. yeah. If I remember right, you were a very busy man. Do you do you know some skill or something you want to develop? Yes, I think there are, of course, like now the technologies and everything is changing so mm-hmm. quickly. So there are always new things coming up. So you, even though you, if you are working for many years at one place, but I think you still should not be comfortable in that because things are changing so quickly. So you need to yeah. learn and adopt. Mm-hmm. And I think like for me, since I changed my role, I... I'm now managing people. So like this is something I'm focusing more on developing my leadership skills to improve Mm -hmm. because previously I've been working sort of independently as a project manager, but there were no people directly under me who was, um, whom I was a supervisor for, but now I'm a supervisor for like 16 people. So it's quite different thing now to work. So that's where I'm trying to develop myself as well to be a good manager or a good leader. What kind of things people can trust you especially? So I think um, if people can trust me like that, I will uh, I'm like accountable, whatever I mm. think that I should be doing. So I take full responsibility of that. So if they have given me something, so then they don't have to ask me like one or two or three times again. So they know that I will, I have, I know when I should deliver it, if there's a certain deadline. So I will try to respect that timeline and I will deliver it. And if there are any issues in that, if there are I'm facing some issues, so I will just tell them honestly that this it, something is not possible or if there are any problems so that they will know for sure that what is happening. Yeah, I think you are very good at uh, time management. <laughs> yes, I think so. But it's always like need to improve quite a lot yeah. uh, every time. So trying to. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you have a good way to do work? I think, yes, I have good way. Uh, I work most like in a structured way where, you know, I try to, if there is something which I don't know, so I try to understand first and try to find some solutions or we're in different solutions and try to then limit my options, how we can do it, what will be the best approach. But sometimes at work, there are things that you don't have enough time to follow these mm-hmm. steps. So that's where I think I, I'm i trying to improve myself over there because sometimes there are tasks that you just need to take decisions very quickly without very detailed information. So you just yeah. have to, you know, based on your experience, try to make a clear decision whether it is right or wrong. Maybe I think you will learn later, but uh, that is something I'm trying to at the moment work on. Yes, and we have, we all have our own lives also. There yes. happens many things. Yeah. Exactly. 
uh, how you take care of your well-being? Yeah, so it's quite sometimes quite challenging uh, with my work as well to find time with uh, quite many long hours and everything. But I try to, after work, try to give myself some time to do some exercise. So just it helps mm -hmm. quite a lot after a hard day at work. So it actually like physically and mentally helps quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Then it's more like I try to go out for a walk. Now I have like a family by my son. So I take him out for a walk after like my work day finishes so it just keeps me fresh as well and it's good for him for my son as well so i think just you know try to find some clear boundaries between work and uh, family life is sort of important it's always sort of a sometimes a struggle sometimes you need to give more time to work sometimes more to family but maybe in between is somewhere i'm trying to do yeah yeah, yeah. what kind of challenges there is is there uh, some strict schedules at wor work or something? Yeah, I think challenges are more because of now Corona. It's like we are working from home all the time. So it's hard to find the boundaries because previously we used to go to office and, you know, after mm -hmm. five or six, you know, office work is completed. So you turn off your laptop, so you come back. So it's like a clear sort of, you know, transition from work to home. But now, mm -hmm. you know, laptop is in front of you all the time. So it's very hard to close it, uh, you know, sometimes yeah. things are coming late as night so you at home so you feel like you know you need yeah. to work work and separate. work all the time separate yeah. between those two things mm -hmm. so i think this is sort of a big challenge yeah. at the moment but i think it's the same for almost everyone who is working yes from I, home I think so. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah what is the best thing at your work and what is the worst thing yeah i think best thing is like the flexibility so i mm -hmm. think uh, even before Corona, so we were allowed to work from home as much as we can. It doesn't matter where we work from and, you know, nobody asks for like how many hours I'm working or anything. It's more like results driven. So it's quite good. That's what I like. So nobody is micromanaging anything that, okay, what mm -hmm. you are doing, well, when are you online in the morning or when are you going uh, off in the evening? So, and so basically once this Corona situation happened, so we didn't have uh, any change in our working schedules because we were quite used to work from home anyway. So it's sort of normal as before. But of course, it's now like every day. Uh, previously, we used to, we miss, all, of course, like meeting with colleagues and everything, which is mm -hmm. not possible now. But apart from that, it's the same. Worst thing, I um, won't say like any worst thing as such. If, the, you know, it's of course, like every place has good or bad, but yeah i think probably i think especially like in my organization the way they have handled like the situation in corona so it's been quite good like clear communication with the employees and asking them how they feel so mm -hmm. at the moment i think i don't have anything like mm -hmm. worst to share yeah That's so i think cool. i'm quite quite happy with how things have managed and quite happy working there yeah yeah that's good to know uh then uh, can you remember some special moment you have been very proud of yourself at work? You don't need to say in this workplace, just whole your life. Mm, I think uh, uh, one of the proud moments was, I think last year I was also uh, doing my MBA degree along with my work as well. So, and it was quite challenging, quite many things were happening in my personal life as well. My son was born as well and my work wise. So I was able to complete that uh, last year and graduated from that. So it also helped me to get into this sort of a managerial position as well at work. So I think that was something I was really proud of that I was able to do it. I set my target with my manager that I will do it last year and then it was quite difficult, but I was still able to do it. I think that was something I'm quite proud of. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yes. Do you use Finnish at work or do you use mainly English? Uh, we use mainly English. Our company language is English and in the department I'm working in is more like all dealing with international clients or customers. Mm -hmm. So it's all English over there. So we yeah. don't get a chance to speak Finnish or practice Finnish. Uh, yeah. At yeah. All. yeah. Where, where do you use Finnish? Nobody yeah. Yeah, I use like 
if I'm in like a grocery store or somewhere, you know, if I need to ask something, if I cannot find something, so I can like ask mm -hmm. basic things over there. But even there, like Finnish people, they speak so good English, so it's quite hard to speak. But yeah, at least I can do some basic questions if like other person they don't understand English so I can ask them in Finnish in stores yeah. or in shops or maybe sometimes when I go to some public office mm, uh, like so maybe I think if they want so I can at least you know start some conversation at least and then we can maybe switch to English later or something. yeah yeah do you follow news or follow in Finnish or in English I follow the Finnish news, Ule news, but mostly in English, but sometimes in Finnish uh, as well, but I sometimes it's hard to understand, but I then translate, but at least I'm like following the Ule news quite regularly, yeah. Yeah, what do you want to do in the future? Okay, yeah, uh, I think in future, at the moment I have plans that uh, in my new role, I develop myself as a good leader. So it has been just now, I think, five months now in my new role at the moment. So I'm trying to establish myself that I'll be like a good leader and like, you know, my team, they just trust me as, and they, you know, like working with me. And apart from that on, apart from the working life also, just, you know, I give more time to my family as well and focus on things uh, as well and try to find a good balance between work and family life. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be sort of a dream. Do you think you have something to say to our listeners? Yeah, I think from um, my side, so I think uh, when I came to Finland, so I also faced quite many challenges. It wasn't too smooth in the start for me as well when I was looking for jobs when I was about to graduate. So mm -hmm. I remember like I had to wait six months I applied quite many at quite many places and gave quite many interviews as well. But, you know, it took a while. So I will also like urge all the other people, especially like from the international background who are coming. So just keep patience and keep working hard and try to focus where do you want to apply and how you want to work and make some plan. What do you want to do and then stick to that plan? I think it will take some time, but eventually you will get it. So don't lose heart. But I think there are also quite positive things later on if you just focus on a little bit. Thank you so much, Saad, about this, these words and cool interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.